And we're starting another new feature. Of course, they're all new on the CBC Calgary News. This one we call Remember When. It's stories from Calgary's past that made an impact or marked a milestone, or in tonight's case, show how some things never seem to change. Thirteen years ago, the Calgary Stampeders football team was in danger of folding. Sound familiar? Robert Scott was our sports reporter back then. Council's decision could kill a takeover by a 10-man Calgary syndicate led by city businessman Bill Tanner, Jerry Shaw, and Doug Hunter. The group has secured at least $2 million, but even with projected revenue, they need more money to fund the club beyond 1986. Now, Hunter and his partners have approached the government of Alberta and the city of Calgary for financial assistance. Basically, council is deciding whether it should lend the Stampeders $4 million. The city finds itself particularly between a rock and a hard place because um, uh, I think that from uh, the number of phone calls and so on that uh, my office has received and the aldermen have received that the the public if if the phone calls can be a true indicator um, are not uh, very happy about the city assisting uh, the football club in any way shape or form now should the Stampeders fold and we're moving ever closer to that possibility the city of Calgary will likely have to pay $500,000 a year to maintain McMahon Stadium because the McMahon Stadium Society would have lost its major tenant, the Stampeder Football Club. Robert Scott, CBC Sports, Calgary. In the end, the city wound up kicking in $300,000 to help keep the stamps going. Ralph Klein changed his hairstyle. And actually, the team is now as stable financially as it's ever been. Of course, you can't say the same for the rest of the league.